On YouTube, there's always some new trend that's popping up that thousands of channels will jump onto to try and get views. Years ago, you had the prank videos, then you had the 3 a.m. phone call videos, and every few months, the meta changes and some new trend hits the platform. Over the past couple of years, one type of video has been consistently becoming more popular, and that is the audience reaction videos. Many of these videos have tens of millions of views after simply recording a portion of a movie in the theater and getting the reaction to the audience as a pivotal moment in the movie happens. Everything from Avengers Endgame to Harry Potter have had these audience reaction videos go viral and get millions of views for these channels. The problem with many of these videos is that they are completely fake. As more of these fake audience reaction videos get uploaded, it becomes more and more apparent as you now have audience reactions to films from the 90s and even the 80s suddenly having in-theater reaction videos popping up that never existed before this trend went viral on YouTube. Now, some of these videos are clearly designed as just a funny troll video, like the many clips that meme on the audience reaction to the movie Morbius and how awful it was. We can confirm that Jared Leto will play the new Captain America in Captain America, New More Border. And there are one film that brings phase six to a close. like that are just for fun and I have no problem with that at all but many of these channels upload fake reactions or edited clips and try and scam people into believing they are real in order to suck up millions of views on YouTube. One fake video in particular has gained over 17 million views since it was uploaded just three years ago. This video titled I Am Your Father Cinema Reaction claims to be an in-theater recording of the 1980 Star Wars film Empire Strikes Back during the pivotal scene where Luke Skywalker finds out that Darth Vader is is his father. No. Unfortunately for the 17 million people who watch this video, it's completely fake. The reason this particular clip went viral is because the YouTuber edited the dialogue to make Darth Vader say the line, Luke, I am your father. Many people have mistakenly believed that Darth Vader says, Luke, I am your father for decades. However, the original line said in the movie is actually, no, I am your father. That's a small but significant change and is actually one of the most well-documented examples of the Mandela effect. If you're unfamiliar with this term, it was coined to encompass any phenomenon where a shared group of people have incorrect memories about past events. It was coined that because many people believe that Nelson Mandela, a prominent South African figure, died in prison in the 1980s but in fact was actually released from prison and lived until 2013. Other examples of the Mandela effect are people believing the Fruit of the Loom logo used to have a cornucopia basket when it never did, or that the Bernstein Bears used to be the Bernstein Bears, and Looney Tunes was spelled with two O's instead of a U. These are all prime examples of people misremembering past events, and the line from Empire Strikes Back is another great example. This particular YouTube channel faked a video that supposedly was from the 1980s, and now everyone who misremembers the famous line can now point to the video to claim they were right, and the YouTube channel gets millions of views promoting a lie to people. In the description of the video, it even says, found in goodwill in January 2017, I didn't think much of it until now. With some minor cyber sleuthing, however, anyone can find that this video is completely fake. This video got so much traction and is now linked to by thousands of people every month to prove they aren't wrong about remembering the line that Snopes even wrote an article about it proving it wasn't real. The article points out that the supposed audience reaction used in the clip that it claims is from the 1980s is actually the same audio that was stolen from a real reaction on another channel titled Avengers Infinity War Thanos Snap. No! 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 Now, after seeing that the audio reaction is exactly the same, it should be pretty clear that this video is fake. I wanted to go further and I reached out to the YouTube channel Audience Reactions to see what he thought, and he confirmed that the other channel stole his audio and edited the scene to make it seem like a real reaction. After being confronted about stealing the audio track to get views for his fake video, the channel then changed the description of the video to include the lines, this series of videos are created solely for aesthetic purposes. It then says where credit is due and links to the video with the original audio. Most people do not read video descriptions and this video continues to get thousands of views every month with people still believing this is what was said in the original movie and continuing to spread this fake clip as real. 
It's pretty amazing to me that this fake video has 17 million views at this point and continues to bring new viewers to this channel, but this is only the tip of the iceberg as there are undoubtedly hundreds of these fake reaction videos floating around YouTube, garnering millions of views with stolen audio and edited clips being presented as real. Now, obviously this isn't the worst thing that has ever been done by a YouTuber for views, but it shows that many creators have no interest in trying to provide accurate information and are willing to knowingly fake videos as long as it brings them internet clout. With the hundreds of audience reaction videos that are uploaded to YouTube every year, it's going to be hard for the viewer to believe the real ones when there are other creators that have no problem creating fake ones and lying to people to further their internet careers.